The Education and Sports Minister addressed the House on the stalemate on salary enhancements for non-teaching staff of public universities. This follows a meeting between her, the Finance Ministry, and the staff in Kampala on Monday. The government is trying to promote uh, the, the, our, our staff in these universities. That's why it is making uh, an effort to, to give them an increment so that education can be promoted. Janet Museven clarified the 28 billion shillings of the 58 billion shillings the public servants want for salary increment and settlement of salary areas was used to start operations in three new universities, Lira, Kabale and Soroti districts. All the universities, including those ones, Soroti, Lira and, uh, and Kabale. The problem comes in uh, a university like Kabale which had about five months uh, salary uh, unpaid. The strike which started on Monday last week stems from failure by government to honor its promise to pay salary areas to non-teaching staff in Makere, Busitema, Chambogo, Guli Universities and Makere University Business School. A year ago, non-teaching staff went on strike, paralyzing day-to-day -day running of all universities. However, lawmakers questioned why government diverted this money. Explain to this parliament. Where now the money to continue financing these three universities will come from? Because part of the reason uh, the universities became effective and there was no money, so you we encroached on the money um, for the enhancement. Problem would need to be given timelines that we should be looking to, which would also in turn give those people hope probably to start work, to pick up their tools and begin work. The minister said the matter will be resolved by Thursday this week. I am hoping that the strike will end on Thursday so that, the, uh, so that universities can open for students to go back to school. That's the word I have heard from them and since government fulfilled well. The remainder of 28 billion shillings is meant to set to salary areas as promised by President Chairman 7 last year. Meanwhile, the institutions remain closed. Maurice Cho, NTV at Parliament.